I think it's pretty clear that Dead by Daylight has some really creepy facts, mysteries and secrets hidden in the details of the maps and characters or in the lore, but a lot of people agree that the creepy atmosphere of the game is gone due to the addition of a lot of fun and wacky looking skins. But in between all those wacky skins, there are some that have a very creepy backstory. Some of them are very grim just by looking at them and others might look normal but have very intense lore. To make this even more interesting, I decided to skip all the blighted outfits since they would be the easiest to choose and also in order to spice things up with some less known cosmetics. Let's take a look at the creepiest skins in Dead by Daylight. It was hard to choose one cosmetic for the nurse as most of them are not canon at all and showcase nurses from other universes or creations from the entity. Mother Mercy was visually my choice as the most creepy cosmetic for the nurse as it's a war related outfit and her body is very putrid and destroyed. But I chose the Campo Trini instead just to show you a fun fact. According to the outfit description, the nurse bandaged her face and started to pierce herself with rusty acupuncture needles. And we can see this already on the skin, but what you cannot see in game is how far deep the needles are pierced on the nurse head. So imagine how this must have felt for her. The plague by default already looks putrid and rancid enough. So how can a cosmetic increase that feeling of disgust? Well, say hi to the Dark Devotee cosmetic, one of the most visually disgusting skins in Dead by Daylight and it also has a very interesting description. The plague was suffering a lot from the infection and it came to the point where she had to go for solutions from forgotten, dark cults. This solution was to bathe in a mixture of clay, dead flies and worms which explains why she has a darker skin due to the clay and why worms are festering in her open wounds. But did you know that this is a real world practice called maggot therapy? I cannot show pictures of this on my video, but you know what to do if you are curious. There is no cosmetic of the clown that I think looks creepy visually in my personal opinion. However, that is not a bad thing, because in fact it brings to light something potentially very creepy of the character of the clown. We know that he is sick of his mind, but what we never confirmed is how wide is the age range of his victims. There is no place in the lore of the clown which confirms him doing something to a child, but his cosmetics apparently tell otherwise. Both of his children parties cosmetic and his ex-Uberant say that the clown used to lure kids with his innocent looks. And since we know that the clown is based on a real life case of a clown person luring kids and we also know what that person did to them, it's pretty clear to me that this confirms the clown is worse than most people give him credit for. I have no idea where the purple tree comes from, but according to the lore of this cosmetic and the archives that came with it, there was a tree with purple ooze that made people hallucinate very weird stuff and in the entity's realm, this hallucination became a reality. The blight didn't have enough with the putrid serum, as now this purple ooze has completely destroyed his body and made him transform into a type of humanoid crow while he attacks with a weapon made out of human fingers and as a bonus, he also has a human face in his lower part of the leg. What I find more creepy from this cosmetic is the fact that apparently behavior will make more of this type of outfits, so that means more killers will have a completely modified organic bodies in the future. This is for sure the most underrated cosmetic in this video. The Dark Manifest is the spirit's body being scared with the entity's marking. Why did the entity do this? It's as if the spirit made a pact 
with the entity and now she works for it and according to the weapon's description, the sword is also engraved with secrets on the land ridge of the entity, but the secrets will always stay a mystery. Trapper has a lot of cosmetics that look very cool, and most of them are handmade, which is something special about him. Out of all of them, there is one specific cosmetic that stands out, the Marrow Miner. The majority of the handmade cosmetics are made out of pieces that Evan had easy access to, like wood, metal, or scraps. The Marrow Miner is made out of organic materials, like bone and teeth. But from where did he get it? Well, the trapper decided to explore the underground mines and he found a lot of workers without a life. So he thought it was a good idea to take the bones and teeth from the workers and make his own mask, clothing and weapon from it. This is also the first outfit that Trapper ever made and it would end up being redesigned to be his default outfit. This is by far the most brutal skin in Dead by Daylight for one reason. In its description, it says that the Oni decided to go to an isolated snowy village in order to hunt a merchant who was selling fake samurai equipment to farmers and this outfit tells a story because the Oni was successful in his quest as any time you play with this cosmetic you can see the literal skinned face of that same merchant stapled to his sword. The ignition outfit was one cosmetic that was given in a past rift as a recolor for the Huntress, but with a special touch. It showcases a completely burned up Huntress. Why did that happen? According to the description of this cosmetic, the Huntress charged through the fires of a flamethrower to kill the soldier wielding it. However, due to that, she got completely burned in the process. Flamethrowers were no joke back in the war because the range of them was extremely far and it was based on inflammable liquid. So if you got some of that liquid in your body, you would burn for a long while. Now with third degree burns all over her body, the entity has made it so that the Huntress is in a constant suffering of the pain from those burns. We know that Ghostface is one of the worst killers in DVD due to his tendencies, but no cosmetic showcases how truly cruel Ghostface is as the Slash Enthusiast outfit. First of all, did you know that his weapon is made out of the bones of his very first victim? So in other words, he is using a past victim in order to kill more victims, which by itself is already very creepy, but what makes it worse is the mask's description as the purpose of the reflective chrome is so that the victim can see their own face while they are dying and the expressions they make. The idea of a killer using a mirror as a mask so you can see your own dying face is something that I believe is very brutal. Doctor has a lot of really creepy cosmetics and backstories for them. But I think a complete mix of corpses made into one and given life with electricity shows how truly horrific Frankenstein would look like if it were something real. Even the weapon is covered in flesh. This cosmetic shares a lot of similarities with the hillbilly one and in my opinion it's one of the most gruesome cosmetics in the game if we're talking about the visuals. A lot of cosmetics from Wraith are related to wood like the Scarecrow and Night Whistler outfits or related to swamps like the Wetland Wrecker or Marsh Madness outfits. But the creepiest outfit in my opinion is the Mangled Wrecker, which is one of the only outfits that relate to his Out of Haven lore. If you watched my creepy facts video, you will remember how I said that the corpses in Out of Haven are visible in order to torture the Wraith so he never forgets what he did accidentally while working there. 
but the entity decided to step it up a notch and it decided to completely break Wraith, making his memories manifest physically and mangle his entire body into car pieces and tarp. Now, the Wraith is made of compacted junk just like his victims, but unlike them, he cannot die. This cosmetic for the hag is one that I believe a lot of people can agree is one of the creepiest outfits in the entire game, and there is something extremely weird of it. Unlike most of the cosmetics in this vid, this one is one of the minority where there is almost no context as to how the hag ended up looking like this. How did hag get another human growing inside her? Which of the two faces of the hag is the original one? The only hint of context we have is in the outfit's description, which says that her grandmother advised her not to use magic powers too much. But how did Hag end up like this? What magic did she do? An answer that cannot be resolved. Yet. We can agree that most of the hillbilly skins are very goofy and they even make fun of him, like his pyromania skin which is one of the scariest ones visually, but according to the description, he accidentally set himself on fire with fireworks, but one of his most recent skins is potentially one of the creepiest skins in Dead by Daylight. I am talking about the Vile Scarecrow cosmetic, one of the visually creepiest cosmetics in the entire game, and if that was not enough, its description is very brutal, as according to it, it's made out of skin of his victims that he chased in the farmlands so much that even his legs were eroded until the bones were exposed. And have you ever wondered why the weapon of this skin is so weird and instead of using the scythe part of the weapon, we hit with a small axe? That is because first, Hillbilly knocks the victims out and then he starts peeling off their skin with the scythe, possibly while they are still alive. 